A father who refused to get medical help for his 10-month-old daughter as she starved to death will spend the rest of his life behind bars. News 8's Barton Dieters has been covering this case since it first broke in 2018. He brings us the end of this trial and what's coming next. In March, Seth Welsh will be sentenced to life in prison without the hope of parole. But this isn't the end of this case. How would you feel? You are imprisoned in yourself because you don't have the energy to move. She didn't have the energy to even put up her arms and she didn't have the energy to cry. The jury heard the now infamous 911 call that came from the home of Seth Welch and Tatiana Fusari more than 90 minutes after they found their child dead on a urine-soaked, moldy mattress. They heard the laissez-faire attitude of the father about his child's death. But it was the photos of the baby's shriveled body and shrunken, lifeless eyes staring out from the photos that shocked even the most seasoned law enforcement professionals and visibly stunned the jury. Don't tell me you didn't know that. And don't tell me you didn't intend that because you didn't get her little tush out of that crib. You left her in there. You ignored her because she was an inconvenience. The prosecutor told the jury about Seth Welch demanding medical treatment for himself in jail as proof that his fear of medicine for his children was not genuine. Public defender Charles Clapp said the father was overwhelmed by his responsibility to take care of Marianne as well as his two older children and asked the jury to convict his client on lesser charges. And Seth is at home with three children trying to do farm work, trying to take care of the house, trying to be a father, and he just can't do it. You saw the pictures of the house. He's not working on the house. He's not cleaning. He's not working in the fields. Because they're all overgrown. What is he doing that he is so overwhelmed? The mother's trial begins Monday on the same charges. Fusari gave birth a year ago to a fourth child, a son, as she was in the jail awaiting trial. All the children have been removed from the home, and the court has ordered that the two older surviving children cannot have contact with the newborn. Seth Welch is scheduled to be sentenced March 11th. We'll be here for that and for more of this case as it continues. In the Kent County Courthouse, Barton Dieters, News 8.